guys, King of the North here, bringing you some Rebel Ink from the makers of Plague Ink. Similar playstyle uh, to this game as Plague Ink, but instead with this game you're taking control of a region and trying to gain power and stabilize through citizens, government, and military power. Uh, for this series, I'm going to do this on Brutal. Uh, to me, Mega Brutal has too much RNG to really make a guide. Uh, if I can get through this with Brutal and can develop a strategy as I get through all these, I will try to do a Mega Brutal guide. But for now, I am going to try to do all these maps on Brutal using all of advisors. Uh, so for our governor here, uh, we're going to start with Civil Servant. I actually did this on Mega Brutal, but I was not able to reproduce the results that I had. That's why I'm going to be doing this on Brutal. But this is the list of people that I went with as my assistants. These are, seem to be the most effective here. So with that, I'll be doing this, like I said, on Brutal, not Mega Brutal. Uh, I think there's too much RNG to be consistent with that. Uh, so... Let's get started. Going to start here in the middle. Go ahead and jump in and start buying what you need. I usually like to grab these three. They're very cheap. Education is almost always required, and they're fast to roll out, which is very important. Building stability. Uh, grab regional census and grab anti corruption. Anti corruption is going to help drain your corruption over time. Uh, effect, effective procurement may seem like a good grab. It, it um, initiatives cause less corruption when funded, but really, you're not generally dumping a ton of money into that at one time because you're too caught up trying to battle insurgents. So your corruption will drain with the anti-corruption. And you're going to need the anti-corruptions anyway, so it's better to grab them as soon as possible. So for $13, we're going to come in here and grab the PR and media office for $12. This will help multiply our stability. We're about to get a message about the insurgents rising. And we will start to build up our army here. That's pretty good. Let's see. Alright, water is actually wanted right now. Let's get a head start on that and get that rolling. Okay. So, military action is now acquired. up and try to see if you can find the insurgent base here and while they're doing that we are going to grab national soldiers you're gonna see little eyeballs pop up that's them gathering until on the region does not seem to be a base here, so we move our soldiers to this region here. If there's nothing up here, I will try to move here and hopefully we'll find the base here. Usually where they first attack is not where the base is located. They don't give themselves away that easy. There doesn't seem to be anything here, so move down here. 
All right, he found the base good. Okay, uh, for $12, we're gonna grab anti-corruption too, and that should help hold this over for a while. Okay, we destroyed the base. Actually going to run here. And over here so they don't run to this region. Kind of want to funnel them back up into the mountains here. At $13, how are we making it? Water, which we've already started to implement, school. So since we're not really going to be funding anything new, it's probably good to grab an outreach office here, which makes it easier to roll out your initiatives. It essentially adds more of these hammers that are building up these locations. So we're at twelve dollars. It's a good time to buy garrisons. Uh, it's a good spot for a garrison. This is actually my favorite location to have a garrison. It helps you fight all of these regions, which, but also means that I'm going to have to have a soldier placed here. They're implemented, so long run, they're a good investment. Uh, what do we have here? Gain for reputation. Uh, conservative, uh, who cares? We want the reputation gain here. Getting reputation early on will actually allow us to be able to keep our coalition soldiers in the mix that much longer. And if we can keep them in there longer, uh, the more we can buy these anti-corruption initiatives, which will be super helpful in the run. How much is this? Four dollars. Could probably grab that soon. But we are draining corruption pretty pretty quick. We are going to start pushing into these regions, though, hoping this guy doesn't go. Alright. Twelve dollars. How nice would it be? Where are we at? Let's say we need telecoms, didn't we? Five dollars. Alright. It's wishful thinking that we could roll out another group of national soldiers so early. pressure on the insurgents. So, 
we're starting to want the jobs. We're going to put an investment in that. I'm going to try and push them further up this mountain. We need to get more soldiers rolling, though. I waited a little bit of time on that. These guys uh, are going to end soon. Insurgent activity is the highest cause of reputation loss. Doing okay. Deployment's going to end soon, so to keep our national soldiers rolling here. Grab this for four dollars. It lowers corruption risk a little bit. And we're not too far off from getting our next set of national soldiers here. I am gonna extend these guys. We have 77 reputation. This didn't get too out of hand, fortunately. We're up to 42% corruption, which isn't good, but we're we're not in bad shape with reputation rate. So this should drain off pretty quick. I know that I have to start investing in jobs soon. section 10 we're gonna hold on because I am going to invest in something soon actually probably now we're up to twenty dollars that will allow my soldiers to become more supportive in these zones and help build up these regions $16, we might as well grab the next tier of anti-corruption and make that plummet. Uh, we are actually going to extend his as well. We're doing well with reputation. We still have all these areas that we're going to take over. Oh, this is not good. Let's get rid of this rebel base. Hopefully they don't spawn anything before he gets rolling here so he can just take this out quickly. Okay, so... Some different dialogue here. Uh, this increases insurgent recruitment bonus. We don't want to do that. We have them in pretty good shape. Uh, four four dollars, and it slightly increases corruption. If the thirty five, all right, so it did increase corruption. All right, it's better than the insurgents getting stronger at this point. It's better to have them under control. give some civil support, but it's only $3, which is pretty good, and we will grab some jobs, actually. I know that was on the list of concerns, it still is, so we'll help that. Always cover up in terms of airstrikes. Okay, I'm actually going to deploy these soldiers here. And that probably sounds crazy, except for the fact that I'm going to grab civil integration. Soldiers help roll out initiatives, increase local support level. We got another garrison. Awesome. Pretty good defense we got going here. Can we grab here that? Oh, 
boost us without causing too many issues. What are we doing here? Jobs? Electricity. Okay, so electricity is a concern. Grab electricity and start rolling that out. And actually, let's roll out an advancement in urban outreach. That'll cause our cities, which give more stability. I don't, know, I don't want you to leave there. Uh, that'll help them build up quicker. And I don't want to push these guys any further because it'll cause more spawns to happen. So I'm actually going to deploy these guys here to help build up this zone too. What are we doing here? Corruption is a little high last month. Search and activity coalitions. All right, yeah, I dumped them into the coalition for them around. <clears throat> Honestly, this game is much more enjoyable, and I feel more strategy is involved in regular Brutal, or Mega Brutal. It, it, there's too much RNG that makes it unenjoyable and too difficult to actually be consistent. So that's why I, I wanted to do a series on brutal and if people have ideas or strategies they want to list for mega brutal i'll look into that for sure and give that an attempt but at least this lays a foundation for anybody who wants to start getting into series at least um we're gonna go with this eight dollars and it'll cut the uh support to the insurgents and we're already at fifteen dollars what can our money buy us can get some better weapons for $13. Actually, I'm going to grab the local militia. And let's lower our corruption risk here. Okay, I know there are waiting orders, but this is supposed to be bumping this area up a little bit. They're supposed to have, like, the hammer and wrench there. I guess after a certain amount of time, they stop contributing. Or I guess after they're about to take control of a region, they'll stop contributing. So fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars, we can bump up our airstrikes. Something else I wanted to grab. How are we doing here? Electricity, jobs. Grab this. It's only five dollars. It's actually a decent grab. Pressure on the insurgents here. Still working, which is good. Uh, we're gonna keep the rolls. Move these guys here. Um, it's just another cover up. Move these guys here. Hopefully, they'll start building up this area. See, we're starting to get a lot of reputation gain here from starting to gain control here. Uh, we can start to pressure surgeons actually. Let's do that. Because when we pressure them, that's when a peace deal comes to the table. Okay, alright, so there's a 26% chance that the insurgents were those talks. I'm going to take that because there's not a risk of reputation here. Okay, so this brings up the peace talks here. And with that coming into play, I am going to start implementing more local uh, law enforcement. It keeps any uprisings in these other areas, even the controlled ones, uh, more controlled. So, I am going to buy that support increase. We're actually at 40%. It's not good. Military. We can just buy another thing of coalition rather than wasting reputation here.
get them deployed. Get started at least. Okay, these guys are ready. Done here. So we should probably start moving our national soldiers up here. Okay, so we don't want to speed things up too much. Uh, we'll lose a lot of reputation. We'll still gain uh, work towards peace here, but uh, we'll gain some reputation as well. Alright, so there was like an uprising here. And unfortunately, this does not have militia yet. So I am going to send this guy back here and try to get them cornered. Doing it right. Uh, send them home. I'm gonna move these guys up here, and I will send these guys back to help support him, fighting these insurgents that just had an uprising. So we have fifty-one dollars definitely buy better weapons. I am going to buy another group of coalition here. Is there concerns over lack of health? We already have healthcare. No, we don't. Alright, so at least they're rolled out now. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us. What is this? Power station proposed. Uh, we'll get the eleven dollars and then a decision. Yeah. Also overrun. Very significant increase in corruption. That's not good. Let's try to keep pressure on this guy. Get him in this corner here. There's five reputation, which is alright. Not a big problem at the end. Okay, so 29% chance, uh, slightly increased corruption, 30% chance it overruns the costs. Spend an additional $3. Uh, we didn't have corruption go up, which is good, because that was getting a little high on us. Okay. Move this guy here. And this guy here. And that should corner him and end his campaign with raining on my parade. Stabilize before he runs in here. Close. Cornered and dead. Alright, we got this back. Uh, insurgents must apologize. We'll gain four reputation there. We don't lose any progress here. Alright. There's no, yeah, there's no concerns right now. He seems pretty happy. Keep rolling stuff out to gain support. These out here. Actually, as soon as they show up, I might just push in and see if I can take over that region. They're already starting to spawn in these areas. I can beat up the insurgents, I might be able to end this quickly. Actually, I might need to hit the drop back so this doesn't fall back into here. Increase 
increased security bonus. Okay, that's good. Okay, we push them back up into there. That's good. And he is fighting that base right now. Not going to push that, but I will make this guy move up here. Probably not going to be a good idea. Alright. No, no uprisings. Uh, law enforcement seems to be holding. Let's speed up remote outreach here. This will increase our support level. And let's get heavy ones here. Let's speeding up our airstrikes because it's not going to our corruption will best look more lethal to insurgences, which is really good. Rival slightly uh, cuts support for insurgences. Sounds good to me. Actually, you know what? That has a chance of actually hurting peace talk, so I should be careful of that. guys up here in the mountains and hopefully end this war. It looks like there's a lot of strength here actually. Surgeon strength is 11. Yeah. I don't know how to look at my own strength though. Uh, probably because don't have anything there yet, technically. <clears throat> it would have been nice to have a garrison here, to be honest with you. Uh, demand concessions. I don't want to lose. Um, actually, I probably, I would, I totally could afford it to some. Reputation there to sign the peace treaty, but this is jumping back up quickly because they have lost control of this region. And I believe now I can sign the peace treaty deal. May reproduce or may reduce uh, reputation. Reduce Jesus Christ, and that's a victory there, and relatively short compared to some of. The mega brutal guys I was trying to record. The mega brutal guys were getting up to like 45 minutes and stuff, but that is a win. Uh, way more fun to play this on brutal than mega brutal because, like I said, it's more strategy than trying to combat RNG. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and it gives you some guy uh, some ideas as to how to go about winning in brutal and maybe leading you into Mega Brutal. Uh, if you have any, you know, suggestions or recommendations on how to change up a strategy, please drop some comments. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next guide.